Hey guys, it's John here from Sonic Drive Studio. I hope you're all doing well. I'm really excited to be showing you my new dream amp, the Orange Rocker Verb 50 Mark III. Check it out. I hope you like my little orange mountain that I've built for this video. This is one of those amps that I've wanted forever, and I'm so happy that I finally decided to pull the trigger on one. If you're familiar with the channel, you probably already know that I'm a huge orange amplifier fan. I have a bunch of other orange amps. Most of them are the smaller lunchbox type amps that I featured in many videos in the past and will continue to feature in the future. But now I also have the mighty Rocker Verb 50 Mark III here. So that's just really cool. And as you can see, I am super excited. There's something really unique and magical about the tones of orange amplifiers, not to mention that they look really cool and unique when compared to amps from other brands. Now I've had a lot of fun with the smaller orange amps so far, but I just thought it was time for an upgrade and time to get one of the bigger amps with the EL34 power tubes. So there you go, an orange Rockerverb 50 Mark III. Let's talk about the features of the amp for a little bit and also check out some more tones. So I've got the 50 watt version with the two EL34s in the power section. Orange also makes a 100 watt version and that one has four EL34s in the power section. All my other orange amps have EL84s in the power section and I quite like those tubes, I think they sound great. But there's something very powerful and mighty about the sound of the EL34s in the rocker verb and that is something that the smaller amps can't really replicate. But mostly and especially at very loud levels. Don't get me wrong, the EL84 tubes can go plenty loud, especially for recording or practice or something like that. And the Dual Terra and TH30 both have four EL84s in power section. And those go loud enough for practice or gigs without a doubt. But the smaller 15 watt heads like the Jim Root Terra or the Tiny Terra for example, may not go loud enough for gigs. So that's just something to keep in mind in general. But as I said, the Rocker Verb 50 is really loud, so it's definitely loud enough for gigs. So it's a two-channel amplifier with a clean and dirty channel, and the overall layout of the amplifier is quite simple and user-friendly. I really like the fact that the Rocker Verb has these hieroglyphics instead of numbers. It really helps to give the amp those unique orange aesthetics. On the left side of the front panel, we have a power switch, a standby switch, and a channel selector switch. The standby switch features some power scaling options, so you can set it to the full 50 watts or set it to half. Now since I usually run my amps through my load box setup, I tend to run my amps at full power almost always, but the power scaling can definitely be a very handy feature since 50 watts is a lot of power. And those full 50 watts may be a little bit too much for playing at home or for practicing, for example. And if you're a fan of really cooking the power tubes, the power scaling feature can be a great tonal shaping tool as well. And then next to that, we have the attenuator, which is really a lifesaver indeed. Now, I don't know exactly how it works, but this control basically enables you to turn down the amp even while you're hammering the power tubes with the individual volume controls on the channels. A very, very handy feature, especially for playing at home or recording. Next to that, we have the reverb control. I quite like the reverb on this amp because it's quite musical and sort of subtle in a way. You can turn it up quite a bit though, but there basically are a lot of shades in between fully off and on. Which is a good thing in my opinion because it really helps to dial in the amount of reverb that you need. The clean channel on the right has only three controls. We have a treble control, a bass control and a volume control. Don't let the simplicity fool you though, it's still a very flexible clean channel and it still allows you to dial in your clean tones to taste as long as you use your ears. The volume control on the clean channel can be cranked up for a nice filthy and mild crunch. The attenuator feature can be very, very handy to combine with this as this channel gets very loud once you turn it up. Now let's listen to some clean tones with my ESP LTD SC20 guitar. I'm playing on the single coil neck pickup and I also have some reverb dialed in on the amp. <laughs>
That sounded great. Gotta love those orange clean tones. With the EQ controls in the middle, this channel sounds very broad and even, which can be very great for pedals. The orange clean channels generally tend to be less scooped than say a Fender for example, so they have a great way of sitting in a full mix and they tend to work well with a wide variety of guitars and pickups. Now let's go over the dirty channel. And wow what a channel this is with its chunky, fluffy, sizzly and growly tone. This channel really has a tone that I've never experienced with any other amplifier. So the dirty channel really has that true orange signature tone. Of course the amp is geared mainly towards rock players, so this channel has plenty of bite and bark to cut through a loud or dense rock mix. On the left side of this channel we have the volume control, then we have a very simple 3 band EQ, and then over to the right we have the gain control. This channel can also go clean, and from there you can get some very nice crunch tones as well. Now let's listen to a piece with some crunchy humbucker guitars on the dirty channel. I've got the gain control turned up about halfway and I also have some subtle reverb dialed in. Pretty nice crunch tones, eh? This amp really does a great job of letting the guitars sit in their own space in a dense mix with multiple layers. And of course, as you heard in the intro, this amp can go even dirtier. So let's now listen to a rock piece with my Fender Telecaster guitar. And I'm playing on the single coil bridge pickup. And that pickup configuration can get a little brittle and harsh sometimes with some amplifiers. But in the case of this orange, the sound stays very nice and fat. So let's check it out. <laughs> Oh yeah, that sounded totally killer. Another interesting thing to note about this amp is that all the controls on the front panel are stepped. This can be a very handy feature for recalling settings. I initially thought that this could be an issue for making small changes, but it seems like the steps are all just the right amount. On the back of the amp we have the 8 and 16 ohm speaker outputs. We also have an effects loop and multiple foot switch jacks. And with those you can either switch channels or turn the reverb and or attenuator on or off. So that's the main gist of it. All I can say is that I'm really enjoying this amp and I think you'll be seeing it a lot more in future videos. And I also really think I need to compare it to some other amplifiers as well. 
I was thinking of comparing it to the TH30, for example, since that's also a big orange head, but it's a little bit more affordable and made in China, whereas the Rocker Verb is made in the UK. And I'm also thinking it could be cool to include the OR15, which is a preamp that is actually based on the Rocker Verb. So perhaps that could be cool for the first orange comparison. Of course, I would love to know your thoughts. What other amps do you think I should compare the orange Rocker Verb 50 to? We're gonna end the video with some nice and fat saturated lead guitar tones. But before we go, I'd like to say thank you so much for watching. Don't be afraid to drop a like and a comment down below. I always really enjoy your comments, so that would be appreciated. And what did you guys think of the sound of the amp? So those are all things that I would love to know. Also be sure to hit subscribe along with the notification bell to stay up to date. And you can also follow Sonic Drive Studio on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks and cheers and enjoy these final tones. See ya.